Hey guys, if you want to make your boring MATLAB graph like this into an exciting MATLAB graph like this, then this is the right video for you. Here in this video, we are going to discuss how you can plot 2D graphs in MATLAB and not only that, but how to make that graph more attractive visually look appropriate that is also what we are going to learn in this video so without wasting time let's get started hi this is Raj and you're watching learning vibes welcome to another video on video lecture series on MATLAB tutorials here in this video we are going to learn how to plot an attractive graph in MATLAB. For that, we are going to use a script file. So I have already opened the script file and now let's write the script for the plot command. So the script to plot a simple sinusoidal waveform, it's ready. Now let me explain the script briefly. Here I am defining a variable t and that will become our horizontal axis. It will start with 0, it will reach up to 2 pi or goes up to 2 pi and the step size will be 0 0.1. This is how you can represent some variables. It is one of the technique. Now the next thing is a which is the function of sine right and that has been represented over here and then finally I have written plot x comma y. Whatever axis you want to put on horizontal it will come first and vertical axis will come next. So this is how you can plot a simple graph. I have put semicolon over here. The purpose of putting the semicolon over here is when you put semicolon at the end of any line the output of this line will not be reflected in command section. So our command section will not get full with all the you know outputs which we do not want to see. So that is the purpose of this thing. So now we will run the script and see this is how we can uh, get the simple sinusoidal waveform. Now we will add some things to this and we will make it more attractive and professional. So let's close this thing. Now I am writing help plot. When you write help plot this window gets open. Remember these three columns. The first column represents the color of your plot. Blue, green, red, whatever color from this section you can pick to plot your graph. This represents the marker. So if you want to add marker on your data point, you can choose any of this style to add your marker. And the last one represents the line, this style of the line. So in initial section, we are going to work on the style. So how we can use these things? Let me show you. First of all, let's change the color to red. And for that, we'll do this thing. So just in comma, add R, run the thing. And you can see our graph is red. But on every 0 0.1 step, see over here the step size is 0 0.1. So on every 0 0.1, we are having a one data point, right? So on that data point, if I want to add the marker, right? I can add marker of this different styles. For example, let me add a marker of triangle, right? So for that, I'll just add this mark of less than and run see instead of solid line we have a triangle right on all the data points we have the triangle but what if i want line and marker both so for that for example we want to have a solid line so just have this dash see we have a line 
all the markers and this is how a graph looks like now there are varieties of line you can use right let me try anything else to show you anything else right what i will do i'll just remove this marker so it looks appropriate and we'll use double dash double dash is for dashed line right so we'll run this thing and see you can have this dashed line so using this commands right so using this you can add your flavored color or your flavored style to your plot now there is still something interesting is coming so please wait now what we'll do we have used this marker just remember this plot right this was the plot just remember we are going to change the size of this marker yes we'll change the size of this marker and for that we will write a command so now we are going to change the size of the marker just run this thing can you observe any change in marker size it's still not we'll further reduce it and maybe now you will be able to notice this thing so using this command you can change the size of marker the same thing you can apply with the lines width now let me show you that thing initially we are keeping it to 5 and see the width of the line it's 5 now let's just reduce it up to appropriate level so now this looks a little bit appropriate now let's add grid to this graph and for that you need to just simply write grid on see this is how you can add grid to the plot now in this section we are going to add name to the axis and title to the graph so let's begin with that and for that you need to write a simple command time and y as amplitude time and amplitude now we will give a title to this graph hey before you move ahead there is a quick short question for you this is for your brain test i am going to ask you a small question and you need to write the answer in comments below the question is this which of the following command is used to change the size of marker your options are this you need to write the answer of this question in comment section below i am asking this question just to give you a verification that whether really you have learned anything from this video or not so everything is done but do not forget to write the answer in comment section below okay so now i'm going you can carry on with the video sine wave graph now if i want to change the size of this fonts how can i change that so let's do that thing see font size we have reduced it up to 8 so it looks a little bit smaller so this size is enough for horizontal and vertical axis but i want to increase the size of title so let's do that thing see Now suppose if I want to add legend to this graph, there is a simple command. This is how you can add legend to this plot. Now for example if I want to add some additional text in this graph, let's see how we can do that thing. Hey man. 
one more question is there to check whether you have learned anything from this video or not your question is this which of the following command is used to name the horizontal axis your options are this do not forget to write the answer in comment section below so now I am going and you carry on with the video so let's add some text to this graph so this is how we can add text now we have given the location is 1 and 0 0.5 for example, if I want to write theta 90 over here, then x axis is 1 and y axis is 0. So I'll update this thing and run. So this is how you can make your simple plot into attractive plot. In next video, we are going to see how we can add multiple plot in one figure. If you want to learn anything else in MATLAB, just write that thing in comment section below. If I know that thing, I'll make video on that topic. Hey guys, if you want to download the script file, then in description box below, I have provided a link of my telegram channel and in that telegram channel, I have already provided this script file. So you just join my telegram and you can download this file from the telegram group. So until we meet again in our next video, till the time, bye bye.